Hello, and welcome to the Howard Street Tunnel Project public outreach presentation. The purpose of this presentation is to provide an overview of the project and summarize the findings of the project's National Environmental Policy Act, NEPA, document. Due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, the Federal Railroad Administration, Maryland Port Administration, and CSX are presenting this information as a virtual project update. The Howard Street Tunnel Project centers around the Howard Street Tunnel, a 1.7-mile single-track rail tunnel located in Baltimore City. The tunnel was constructed between 1890 and 1895 and extended in the 1980s. The tunnel runs generally under Howard Street between Camden Station and Mount Royal Station and is owned, maintained, and used by CSX for freight rail operations. The tunnel has a vertical clearance of 19 feet 6 inches, which is approximately 18 inches too short to accommodate double stack trains. Double stack trains are freight trains that transport two shipping containers stacked on top of each other. Double stack trains, which require a minimum vertical clearance of 21 feet, have become the industry standard for transporting shipping containers by rail. In addition to the Howard Street Tunnel, there are 22 other locations between Baltimore, Maryland, and Philadelphia, Pennsylvania that currently restrict the passage of double stack trains. The purpose of the Howard Street Tunnel Project is to remove existing obstacles to create sufficient clearance to allow double-stack train service on CSX's I-95 rail corridor between Baltimore and Philadelphia. The primary needs of the project are to create double-stack train connectivity from the Port of Baltimore to the entire I-95 rail corridor and to increase rail operational efficiency and system resiliency. This map shows CSX's existing primary intermodal network. The blue lines indicate the portion of the network that is already cleared for double-stacked trains, and the red line shows the portion of the network that is not currently cleared for double-stack. The red line between Baltimore and Philadelphia is the focus of this study. Once these improvements are made, 100% of CSX's primary intermodal network will be cleared for double-stack rail service. This map shows the location of the 12 clearance projects in Baltimore, Maryland, which are grouped along a 4.2-mile section of the CSX rail line between downtown Baltimore and the Clifton Park area. This map shows the location of the two clearance projects in Wilmington, Delaware. This map shows the location of the nine clearance projects in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. The Pennsylvania clearances are located in Boothwin, Ridley Park, Sharon Hill, and Philadelphia. Two construction options are under consideration for the Howard Street Tunnel work. The first option is based on means and methods that CSX has successfully used on other projects and consists of track lowering, arch modification, and invert modification. All work would be confined to the tunnel with no impacts to Howard Street. The second option under consideration for the Howard Street Tunnel work would utilize a tunnel enlargement system, which is a custom build that allows trains to operate within the tunnel while work is conducted. The tunnel enlargement system would be employed for a 6,200-foot section of the tunnel from approximately West Lombard Street to Dolphin Street. This option would involve a 1,140-foot open-cut section along Howard Street that would require temporary closures along Howard Street and to the Maryland Transit Administration's MTA light rail system. The North Avenue Bridge in Baltimore, Maryland will be modified by replacing a portion of the existing arch bridge with a single-span shallow girder bridge. Track lowering is not an option at this location due to complex infrastructure in the area, including Amtrak's Northeast Corridor located beneath the CSX tracks. The proposed work will not change the profile of the existing roadway, and will be completed through phased maintenance of traffic on North Avenue. The work will not impact Amtrak's B&P Tunnel, also located in the area. The existing Guilford Avenue Arch Bridge in Baltimore, Maryland, will be replaced with a single-span shallow girder bridge. Track lowering is not feasible in this location due to a utility conflict in the track bed. The work will be completed under a full bridge closure that will require traffic to be detoured on Guilford Avenue during construction. The existing Harford Road Arch Bridge in Baltimore, Maryland, 
will be replaced with a single-span shallow girder bridge. The track profile will also be adjusted to improve drainage. Track lowering is not feasible in this location due to the presence of a water main in the area and the need to adjust the track profile. The work will be completed through phased maintenance of traffic on Harford Road. The remaining clearance locations consist of track lowering. In Maryland, these locations are Mount Royal Avenue, an MTA bridge, Sisson Street, Huntington Avenue, Charles Street, St. Paul, Calvert Street, Barclay Street, and Greenmount Avenue. In Delaware, these locations are Lancaster Avenue and 4th Street. In Pennsylvania, these locations are Chichester Avenue, Crumlin Road, Clifton Avenue, Boone Tunnel, 68th Street, 65th Street, Cemetery Avenue, 61st Street, and Woodland Avenue. The Howard Street Tunnel Project is being evaluated in accordance with the National Environmental Policy Act, or NEPA. The NEPA process requires federal agencies to assess the potential environmental effects of their proposed actions prior to making decisions regarding the proposed action. NEPA also provides opportunity for public review and comment on agency findings. The U.S. Department of Transportation's Federal Railroad Administration, FRA, is the federal agency leading the NEPA process for this project. An Environmental Assessment, or EA, was prepared in accordance with NEPA and FRA's NEPA implementing regulations to evaluate the potential environmental impacts of the Howard Street Tunnel Project. Information regarding how to access the EA is provided later in this presentation. The following environmental resources were evaluated for the EA. Air quality, water quality, noise and vibration, wetland areas, floodplains, endangered species or wildlife, use of energy resources, aesthetic and design quality, land use and community facilities, socioeconomic environment, environmental justice, hazardous materials, cultural resources, and Section 4F resources. Two alternatives and their potential environmental impacts were evaluated in the EA, the no-build alternative and the build alternative. The no-build alternative would involve no action to create a double-stack rail network to and from the Port of Baltimore and north along CSX's I-95 rail corridor. The existing single-stack capable railway section would remain operational without improving the double-stack connectivity constraint in the National Freight Rail Network. The no-build alternative does not meet the project's purpose and need for double-stack intermodal service along CSX's I-95 rail corridor. The build alternative consists of improvements that would remove all obstructions restricting passage of modern double-stack intermodal trains along the I-95 rail corridor between Baltimore and Philadelphia. FRA has selected the build alternative for the Howard Street Tunnel Project. The build alternative is expected to result in minor and or temporary air quality and water quality impacts and potential noise and vibration impacts during construction, potential minor and temporary impacts to one waterway during construction, minor energy resource impacts during construction, a potential temporary and minor impact to the proposed future 26th Street Park at the Guilford Avenue project location, short-term positive impacts to employment and income due to construction activities, and minor temporary impacts due to traffic disruptions during construction in some locations. No other environmental resources are anticipated to be temporarily impacted as a result of the project. The build alternative is expected to result in permanent aesthetic and design quality impacts due to structure modifications and replacements, socioeconomics, environmental justice impacts due to fuel and cost savings related to freight shipping, reduced truck vehicle miles traveled, and reduced vehicle fatalities, adverse effects to eight architectural historic properties, and a de minimis or minor impact to one historic property per Section 4F. No other environmental resources are anticipated to be permanently impacted as a result of this project. Section 106 of the National Historic Preservation Act of 1966, as amended, requires federal agencies to take into account the effects of their undertakings on architectural and archaeological historic properties. The project team has been consulting with the Maryland Historical Trust, the Delaware Division of Historical and Cultural Affairs, the Pennsylvania Historical and Museum Commission, 
and other consulting parties regarding potential impacts to cultural resources. Comments are welcome from anyone interested in the potential effects of the project on historic properties. The Howard Street Tunnel Project Environmental Assessment Document has been made available for public review and comment on the project website, mpa.maryland.gov hst. The public comment period is open from Monday, March 1, 2021, through Tuesday, March 30, 2021. Comments or questions may be submitted via email to hst at marylandports.com or by mail to Bradley Smith at the Maryland Port Administration, 401 East Pratt Street, 19th Floor, Baltimore, Maryland, 21202. The project team will consider comments received during the EA comment period when drafting the final NEPA document, which FRA expects to approve in the spring of 2021. Following final NEPA approval, CSX will be able to finalize engineering, obtain permits, and advance the project to construction. CSX expects to begin construction in phases later in 2021. Thank you for attending the Howard Street Tunnel Project public outreach presentation. For more information on the project, please visit mpa.maryland.gov hst.